No, but um, Carl uh, called me in the week and he was a little bit stressed because he's had a couple of he's had a bad week now. He got stressed about Hitler and and Churchill. And I said, well, we're we're, we're chill out a little bit and I'll teach him something a little bit um, cosier. And I said, like, what about animals? No, you know, not frightening mm. other animals. You're interested in animals, aren't you? Yeah. You know, and um, and he went, oh, all right then, all right then. And then he went, okay, here's a question for you, Heather. So there's there's three animals without ears. He said, and I've told you one. <laughs> And I went, well, that's the snake, because he was talking about the snake. He went, I, went, I went, hold on, Carl, there's loads of animals without ears. He went, there's not, there's three. I went, there's loads. I said, jellyfish, worms, or, um, single-cell protozoa, peripherous. But he went, oh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Animals, proper animals. I went, they are animals. He went, no, proper animals. And I went, do you mean mammals? He went, what are you on about? I said, uh, are these animals, uh, uh, have they got legs, and are they fur-bearing, right? And, and he went... One is. They've got legs on. I went, I don't know, I give up. He went, right, the turtle. I went, right, yeah. And he went, and the bumblebee. <laughs> he said, that's the one with fur. <laughs> that's the one with fur. <laughs> the one with uh, What are you thinking? What is in your head, Carl? Which has got the most fur, a bee or a turtle? <laughs> it's not fur. What is it? Well, well it's... It's... You know, He's done you there, Grace. It's pseudo hairs, isn't it? It's like a, it's a hair, it's a keratin thing. It's not like we have, like mammals grow fur. Do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> He's not convinced. When we say that, we say like fur, we, 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 mammals are warm blooded creatures, yeah. uh, often, usually percent, or as a few exceptions, right, that, that give their milk to their young, nurture their young, and they have fur. Have you heard about osters? O osters? Um, oysters. <laughs> um,. They, that one minute they're a man, then they're a woman, then they're a man again. <laughs> like Eddie Izzard. Now that's, that's libelous. <laughs> He's a transvestite, could I say. He's not a transsexual. Let's say that straight away. I'm retracting that. Right, go on then. Give us what? some more facts. Um, no, I've got you, um, Aesop's Fables. No, but you had some more facts you told me that were dead good. I just wondered if Steve knew them. What? What do you want to know? The ones that you read out to me. You had, um, you had one about a, uh, the spiky thing. Go on. Porcupine. Give yeah. me a clue. How many spikes has a porcupine got? Don't know. How many was it? I think it was about 10,000. But I, I, these aren't these aren't the most interesting facts, are they? It's all right. It's all right, though, isn't it? Yeah. And he went, but how can they say that? You could say that, uh, uh, you know, we've got a certain amount of hairs in our head. I went 100,000 average. He went, yeah, but I haven't. So how do we know that that porcupine that they've counted is the same for all of them? <laughs> might have had alopecia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he might have been a particularly hairy one. You know what I mean? Right, you've got a, 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 do you know, do you know what a fable is? I tried to explain briefly. Do you, do you know what a fable I've is? I've got Carl? a rough idea. Okay, it, it's a thing that uses sort of a metaphor, analogy, just to, to, to explain sort of, uh, 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 morals. I mean, they're, they're very, they're very, very old, for a start. And it's all thing. Um, I'll give you an example of one. Um, uh, oh, a quick one. Oh, the one about the the, um, the dog with two bones. Uh, he goes to a, a dog's got a bone. He sees it reflection in the lake, and he thinks, "Oh, that dog's got a nice bone. I'll have that." And as he goes to get that one, the reflection, he drops the one he's got, and that's one about you know. I think I was, uh, I was told one when I was younger. Go on. Uh, I think it was one. <laughs> this young lad. He's got a dog, right, and he's sort of, he's about eight years old, and this dog, he's had it since he was about four, and it's a bit tired now, and he chucks sticks for it, and he doesn't, he doesn't go for it, and, uh, he's saying to his mum, oh, I want a new dog, because this one's useless, it doesn't do what, you know, it doesn't have any fun with me, so they say, oh, no, but, you know, Rover's a good little dog, you should look after it, and he's like, oh, I don't, I don't like it, I want a new one, so they buy him a new puppy. And it's it's running around, yapping about, and he's loving it, and he's playing around with it in the grass. And then uh, one day he goes to the park, and he's messing about and rolling about with it, and he falls into the lake, mm. right? And the little puppy's, like, yapping at him, and he's going, help me, help me, and the little, little, little dog's yapping. And then the old dog comes and gets his collar, and it pulls him out of the lake, and he goes, oh, God, you know, why did I forget about you? You're the better dog. And he loved that one again rather than the puppy. I was got a feeling that was Lassie. Well, yeah, that was an episode of Lassie. What <laughs> what was, what's the moral? Bit? What's the moral there, Carl? What, what's that telling? What, what's that explaining through analogy? Sort of, don't forget the old. <laughs> Look after old people.
I remember there was one I heard once about a young boy who, who got trapped in a lake inside a, a cage. A cage. But he, he, he loved his trainers so much. He loved his trainers so much he wasn't going to get them wet. And but the even though he had came, to get out there. And even though he thought that was the important thing because it's material value, he actually drowned and the trainers were no good to him then. Um, obviously, me and Steve, we, we love Carl. This is not, this is the things we give Carl to read and talk about. It's not to embarrass him or stress him out at all. We genuinely like his view of the world. Yep. In fact, we did an interview yesterday with a p bloke from the Standard who really liked the show and said, did you like Carl? Because you take the piss out of him a lot. And, um, you know, we, we just like to say, we love Carl. I said to that bloke, I said, it's like I've got a new kitten. I can't wait to get in and see his little face on Saturdays, didn't I? Yes. And uh, uh, I think... I'm worried because I thought I'd give Carl something he was really get his teeth into with these Aesop fables. It involves animals and, you know, little stories. But I've given him a couple and he doesn't seem to be that impressed or understand the, the concept. It's just of what. you said you'd bring in an animal fact book as well. And I can't see that anywhere. No. <laughs> well, you can only read one book at a time, can't well, you? Why didn't you bring the other one in first? Well, it's big. I've, I've got to work my way up to it sometimes. I'll probably have to get a cab because it's a bit big. Now listen, I'll give, it, I'll give this one, this is an easy one, now just think, right, think just what it means. They're not that, they're not that hidden, they're not that cryptic. Just think what this means, okay? Okay. When the hares addressed a public meeting and claimed that all should have fair shares, the lions answered, a good speech, hairy feet, but it lacks claws and teeth such as we have. How would you use that? No. What, what do you think that means? This is this this translated from the I don't know uh, Greek or something. I don't know. It was it was Aesop. Where's he from? Greek. Yeah. So it you know it, it should I should I do it in my own language? Okay. Um. So what what would happen if there's 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 hares and they have a meeting in the jungle with like loads of lions and go hey hold on wait a minute I think we should all be equal and share everything all right and the lions go. Well, yeah, it's easy for you to say. We've got claws and teeth. Yeah. What does that mean? It's saying, like, uh, coarser hares want that because it's better for them. The lions get nothing out of it because they're already king of the jungle. That's right. So it's, ne it's, ne it's negotiating from weakness. Anyone can negotiate from strength, but negotiating from weakness is your... It's, it's you know, it's, it's it's be lovely. It's a lovely utopian look at the animal kingdom. But the way you said it is better than the way they worded it. Well, that's uh, because, but that's because uh, Ricky's very much the modern Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, many people have thought that. You know, that's why he's getting a lot of awards with the TV show. <laughs> For him, Thank that's, you. that's a favourite. So look, yeah, I'll take that home and read ones you like and tell me about the ones you like. Ones that click. I don't care if you only come in with like one or two. Go, I'll tell you what, Rick, that's a mate that there's one thing that I've learned from that. You know, because sometimes you can know all these phrases and until something happens, you don't, you don't think, you know, you, everyone's heard, you know, to, um, I don't know, to err as human, to forgive divine. But, and then some, uh, you know, might happen, do you go, oh, that, that's what that means, that's amazing. So, you know. Do you know any, Steve, I found? <laughs> Wait, what's that? A fable. Uh, well, I would imagine that the most famous one I've always remembered is the, uh, you know, the, the lion with the, uh, the thing in its hoof. Do you remember that? Paw. The, the lion, yeah, with, the, with the, the, the spike in its paw, and a smaller animal gets it out for it, but it still attacks it anyway. Well, that's life, isn't it? Well, I read one the other day, actually, which was very interesting. It was one that uh, the famous film director Orson Welles said. Oh, yeah. But she said, uh, apparently there was a, a bear going across uh, a lake, wading through the lake, and a scorpion said, um, well, let me go on your back, will you? Come on, just let me go on your back, we'll go across, it'd be brilliant. He goes, well, no, you'll just sting me. He goes, don't be stupid, if I sting you, you'll die, and we'll both drown. And he goes, oh, fair enough. Who, who was doing the stinging? The scorpion. The scorpion. Right, okay. Yeah. And the bear is wading through the water. Yeah. So yeah. the scorpion jumps on the back, and they wade through the water, and halfway across, the scorpion stings the bear. And the bear goes, well, we're both going to die now. He goes, yeah, it's my nature. I thought he was going to say, I can swim. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, you're the best. What's, what's the one about, um... Do, does that mean anything to you? It's my nature, i.e., you know, that's in that's, my nature. That's the way it is. That's, that's what I do, yeah. I'm a scorpion. Yeah. One of my favourite ones... These, these don't mean anything to you, do they? I mean, what the I'm saying is you're not impressed by them. They're all right. What about this? What about this one? Don't trust yeah. bears or here's one. Here's one of my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't, he said, "Well, why not just say don't trust bears?" <laughs> the, bear, the bear's the one that was too trustworthy. Don't trust scorpions. Yeah. Right. Here's one of my favourite ones of all time. Okay. Um, uh, a lion 
is dying. There's an old lion. He's in the front of his cave, and all the animals come around, like the foxes and the hyenas and 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 the uh, the rabbits. And they're all taking the piss out of him, and they're laughing at him, and they're laughing, and going, "You can't fight us now." Kind of. And just before he dies, he goes, "Fine, but I was a lion once." <sighs> what does that mean? Don't know. Well, he's saying it's better to have lived and had what I had. Because I was, I was great, if only for a short time. And you lot are still alive, but pff, you're nothing. You're, mm. you're rabbits and hares. I was a lion once. So, you know, I'm Are happy. they always using animals for these stories? <laughs> well, yeah, I could, I could change it to frig- refrigerators and household appliances if it would make it help. But animals, you know... Uh, <laughs> I remember the one about being ill a lot, and you say something about... Um, Go on. Uh, you know... If you keep doing that, if you keep having time off, well, I won't believe you. That's the boy who cried wolf. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Do you know yeah, that one? Have you heard I, the I'm famous all... one? This is possibly the most powerful one. When you're pulling a face, and they say, well, if you keep doing that, the wind changes. I've heard that. Because like yeah. yeah. you know right. that's scientifically proven. That is. That can happen. That can happen. Should we yeah. have hip hop hooray? Yeah. Are you queued up for that? No, but go on, you. Uh... Carl, sort it out, mate. I was going to. No, come on, this is what I asked you to play, mate. If you've not, you know, you're getting too big for your boots now with your showbiz <laughs> lifestyle. You're not paying yeah. attention, are you? You're not playing yeah. the record if you want you to play it. Heat magazine's favourite. Yeah. Okay, so, um... I'm oh, you dropped that. You've been very clumsy. Oh. You know, you're, uh, you know, with the big I can't you're believe you're not... Oh, fables are great. He's not impressed, is he, really? No, I am. I, I mean, you know, once I get to this book home tonight and that, and yeah. I have a read, I might, I might change my mind on them next week. You're coming all stressed. I'm, not, I'm not impressed with the ones you've you've been talking about. I must admit. Okay, okay. Okay. Th- sure. This album is by this group Nerd, who are big uh, hip hop and R&B oh, producers so in the states. Yeah. We've played a track from them in the past, Bobby James. This album's been re-recorded. I don't know why exactly. With live instruments, you don't get many R&B and hip hop records now with live instruments. So it's pretty. It's, it's all it's computers, in it, Steve? <laughs> these <laughs> days and drum machines. And uh, there is a forthcoming single. I suspect it might be this track, Rockstar. I'm not going to play that. I'm going to play a track to Things Are Going to Get Better. Well, I think that's just time for some uh, interesting facts that uh, Johnny Mango, our researcher from uh, LooseControl.com, has uh, emailed us. A few uh, familiar ones, favourite ones of yours, I think. Go um, on. Any ones I don't know, though? I, don't, I think you know this one, don't you? A pig's orgasm lasts for 30 minutes. I know. And uh, a pig can't actually look directly up. Wouldn't it thought so after 30 minutes of coming. <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, Daddy, be careful there. That's so, incredible. Remember what happened to Tom Bins? Go on. Humans and dolphins are the only species that have sex for pleasure. Uh, bonobos do as well, they've rediscovered. Was which it? is a, which is a, uh... Bonobo? Uh, yeah, um, a, 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 a chimpanzee, like a chimpanzee. Right. So, yeah. So it's three now. Can't believe dolphins are getting they're more... They're three, they're all, they're all at it now. Dolphins <laughs> 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 Yeah. Um, uh, polar bears are left-handed. Yeah. So, yeah. I yeah. don't quite know how they work that out. Did they give them spelling tests? Or uh, writing tests? Oh yeah, they probably just do it, do it. It's probably the paw they use to hide up the, the black nose during a hunt. Of course, yeah. of course. Um, some lions mate over 50 times a day? Yeah, not not every day of the year. Okay, they don't do that every day? No. Okay, because no. again, I'm worried. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> start, I, you know, I didn't think that dolphins... What day of the year do you do it 50 times? <laughs> what, is it, it's coming up to it. It's April, isn't it? You'd like to get out of there. I have a special day, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe we could, we could coincide that with the uh, balloon event. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just me, be me quietly humping in the corner. <laughs> Volunteers, welcome to email now, you know. Um, <laughs> and it, all, all the proceeds go to charity. If you are a desperate lioness. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, butterflies taste with their feet. I didn't know that. Interesting. I didn't know that. That is interesting. But they don't eat much, do they? Because they only live a day. Good point. They wouldn't need to eat. Um, an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain? Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. That's yeah. extraordinary. That is, yeah. Uh, yeah. and the, uh... Yeah. But Carl, how big are your eyes? <laughs> Cruel. <laughs> Finally, I think we've discussed this before, haven't we? A cockroach will live nine days without its head yeah. before it starves to death. Yeah, that's only because it can't get water and food yet. It would, it would be quite happy going around doing its normal things. Yeah. I mean, Probably if, work. if you're just as good without your head as with your head... May as well not have a head. I just... I don't see the point. Well, that was uh, thanks to Johnny Mangler there of... Uh, what's his website called? Uh, Who's turned into a sort of... Uh, volunteered uh, researcher. Yeah. He's very fast. Losecontrol.com. Can I just say as well, we've had lots of emails from different people just uh, saying they enjoy the show and offering little tidbits and things. Uh, Nick Wilson, Sarah and Lauren, Ken, Dan, Jane, she wanted some Ash, we didn't play Ash, never mind. Mm. Lee, Jez, Derry, there's loads of people there. Well, I'm gonna, uh, again, we were talking earlier about, you know, you not caring about being like a, a geek or a freak oh, or right, not trendy. Not. No, I'm just saying. I am trendy, yeah, yeah. And I know, yeah. And uh, I'm going to play a bit of an easy listening. I apologise to those people who still tune in and expect to um, hear two hours of new metal or gorillas. 
Um, and this is uh, a very old-fashioned, lovely tune. It's Bread. I hope you enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Bread. Bread. <laughs>